Hey, hey, thank you for watching my channel, everybody. I am the Divine Maverick, but you can call me Yolanda. This message is for my Divine Feminines. I'm giving a lot of love to my girls. First, I wanna thank you for all your likes, your subscribes, your shares, your comments. I am so blessed by the energy and the love. Y'all are giving me life in the comment section. Thank you so much. Um, this a reading is for what we're going to be doing uh, for this quarantine, if if there is one, and I believe there will be one. If I'm not, then I'd be a lion, probably. Uh, not necessarily a lion, but somebody could have been praying it away. So, but I do feel like we're going to be at a time here in America where we're going to be confined to our homes for a little while, and uh, we might even have some some army gear in our streets or whatever, and that's okay because this is all. Uh, in the hands of, of the divine. And since you are a divine creature, divine feminine, there's work for you to be doing. This is what I call a divine reset. This is what I call a, a realignment. So you are in this moment. You are in this time. I'm telling you right now that you are part of this movement. Star seed. This is the age of the Aquarius, right? So we are in, um, are we in Aquarius season? Well, with the moon, we're in Aries, but the moon is in Aries, by the way, which is all about Yin and yang, yang, out, outward power. You know, it's about being powerful. It's about being a leader. It's about being sure and confident. It's about being bold and courageous. It's about you moving in what you know you are supposed to be doing and moving in. So um, I gave you an energy oracle card for the overall energy. Door to spirit is opening for you. This card is all about expansion and your intuition opening up because that's what this quarantine or this time off of your job or away is about, right? I just saw a feather, you guys. Sorry. But that's what this time about is about. You're going to be um, reading more. Some of you are going to be meditating more. Some of you are going to be starting to meditate finally. Um, you're going to be um, praying in prayer more. Um, some of you are going to be um, reconnecting with um, Tai Chi or yoga. I'm seeing some kind of um, discipline, some kind of uh, physical exercise discipline. But um, you're, going to, you're going to be in touch with... Um, I'm seeing a lot of meditation, but in touch with your, your feminine side and your masculine side, you're really, really going to be get balanced. You're going to get some much needed rest. Some of you are going to get some much needed rest because spirit is going to put you to sleep almost like Adam when he created Eve out of Adam, because you are, there are some things that are going to be birthed out of you, including um, some of you guys are, are pregnant with spiritual pregnancies, meaning of spiritual and natural pregnancies. Okay. Um, and you're going to be, you're going to need to put yourself in a different headspace and a different kind of energy, which is all about intuition, which is all about um, the ethereal, the mysterious. It's all about um, opening up and shifting some paradigms and even opening your mind to um, ways of the spirit that you didn't even, you could even fathom. You know what I mean? Um, spirit wants to take you on like a journey. Some of you guys are going on like a journey. You're going to astral project um, with the spirit's permission to different places, um, to different people groups. And you're going to realize how integral you are um, in their success and that, in that success or of these, I'm seeing Brazil. I just saw Argentina, Sevilla, Spain. I saw Croatia, Kazakhstan. Maybe see Ghana, Ghana, Guyana, Saboro Kete Messi, Portofino, San Diego. Bush Gardens. <laughs> I don't know, that might be my vacation. That's my vacation spot, so I don't know. But I'm I'm here in Bush Gardens. I'm uh, you know what? I'm seeing Williamsport and Williamsburg. Williams, Williamsport. I don't know if it's a Williamsport, Virginia, but anyway, I'm seeing Williamsport, but what, whatever, if that's, um, okay, definitely. Okay. Okay. Definitely a past life. Um, there was somebody in around the 17, 1800s. This is, this is a um, Caucasian woman, but you, you, and you know this. Now I just saw Martha Washington, like, uh, George Washington's wife. But anyway, you, you were, um, a, a, a pioneer even then with your you were uh forward thinking and very independent almost rebellious the um the the colonists would say i think um but you you were very integral to what's happening in uh bush gardens williamsport or williamsburg virginia if you live in this area and you and you see this video um Put in the comments below, please, and just 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 shout us out say hi um but just know that you are assigned to that to that area. And I even feel like this woman was thinking about moving, moving out of that area, um, going somewhere 
<laughs> going somewhere away from all these, you were saying, away from all these tourists, whatever, that, that's Bush. I mean, they want to come to live the colonial life. But either way, um, you you were thinking about relocating, leaving there, but you have work to do there, Starseed. You have you have a job to do. And, and this time that we're in, um, from now until like July, July, August, um, you're going to be getting downloads. You're going to be, um, you're going to get your marching orders, okay? That's what I'm saying. You're going to have your marching orders. Anyway, I know that was very specific for somebody, but um, I needed to get that out. That's how that's how this thing works, you guys. Every spirit to spirit, every message is important. Okay, to spirit, every every message, every utterance, everything is important. Okay, you would be amazed at how many individual messages are for for, for a lot of individuals. I'm gonna just say that you think you're talking to two or three women, and it turns out to be you know seventeen thousand, and they're like, oh my gosh, you know, because that's because we're all connected. Anyway. Um, all right, so door to spirit is opening, highly intuitive. Look at the dove. It's going to be a peaceful time for some of you. You're going to get some much needed peace in this in this time of quarantine. Um, you're going to get some much needed rest. I said that already. And for some of you, you're going to be cleaning up your spaces. You're going to be um, somebody likes the Swiffer wet jet, and somebody likes the somebody likes the smell of um, <laughs> I'm smelling it Swiffer wet jet wet wet jet whatever the, the cleaning, but you like the way your house smells. You're going to be cleaning. You're going to be going through it like a whoosh. I'm seeing a whoosh with that dove. Some of you are going to be playing Prince when you're cleaning your house. The music from, um, the like Prince, particularly when doves cry. When doves cry. You're going to be cleaning your house to, to, to Prince music. Some of you might like Prince's music. Prince's, Prince's music. <laughs> you know, the music from Prince, the soundtrack of his life. Is that three? I just need three cards. I'll take that. Ooh, yes came out in the last reading. Yes came out. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, Star Seed is out, y'all. Didn't we just call y'all Star Man, I tell you what. That's a lot. Can I just have one, please? Thank you, guys. Thank you. I appreciate you all. Humble, humble vibe. Yeah. I'll take that. Yes. Oh, I love this. Yes. The cards are resonating, y'all. Yes. All right, this card says take a break. Didn't we just talk about some of y'all going to be resting? This much needed rest? Take a break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. Some of y'all going to be getting somewhere sitting down. Yes. And that car, that lady's down there by the water. Some of you guys are going to be going down by a lake. Some of you guys get your energy and your power from a lake, from water, uh, from the water. Yes. Your Pisces could be a Pisces, Cancer Scorpio. Yes. But when, intuition is also represented by water, and water flows. Okay, some of you guys are going to be learning how to flow with the spirit. Some of you guys are going to be learning how to flow in the spirit. Some of you guys are going to be meditating and feeling like you are flying, flowing in the spirit. That's good. Embrace that. Some of you guys are going to be uh, as, as buoyant, bubbly as water. Okay. Okay. Yes. So this card is simply yes. I feel like in the past that you guys have said to spirit, spirit uh, gave you a choice or gave you an option. Probably presented your twin flame journey. Your twin flame came to you and it inspired you. That love inspired you, like I said earlier, and it inspired you to say yes. But you were all, you were um, given a, a choice, like... Or, or, or something was presented before you, like you could either stay uh, with a partner, stay with a husband, stay in a marriage, stay in a place, um, stay on a job, um, stay. I just saw software. Some of you might be software engineers or your twin turned out to be a software engineer. A software engineer came to the office to fix some things to fix something, a software engineer came to the office and you were a receptionist or you were there. So somehow you greeted this person. Um, Either way, you said yes. There was there came a time in like I see somebody in a bath because you, you whatever it is you knew about spiritual things you were you were you were cutting your teeth if you will on the spiritual journey and I see a woman in a bathtub like a sea salt bath and she's soaking and she's crying and she's like because this love is 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 overtaking her and 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 her her mind she feels like she's losing her mind really like what is happening I, I I'm not I don't even know where I'm coming or going because of what I'm in um, she had to make some really big decisions and spirit just asked if I take you on this journey. 
I want to take you on a journey. Will you go with me? Will you, will you do? It, it was almost like you, you heard vows. You took vows um, to spirit. He said, do you promise to love me? <laughs> do you promise to trust me in all things, no matter what it looks like? Do you promise to believe what I say, no matter what you see to the contrary? Do you promise to, to listen and obey? You know, follow me, follow you, follow me. Follow you in me, follow me in you. Do you promise? And you said yes. I gotta go back to this card. Somebody was asked the question by their spouse once they met their twin and they were all conflicted and their spouse said, do you wanna leave me? Do, have you fallen out of love with me? And you said, yes. You, you were honest, you had an honest con con conversation. Conversation. Some of you all had confirmation and it came through three of your friends. It could have been three sisters, three girlfriends, three people came to you, three different people said, yes, you should go, yes, you should leave, yes, you should follow this path. You had confirmation and you began your journey with spirit. You opened that door or walked through that door with spirit. Right now, what you're dealing with is uh, what lights you up. You're finding your passion right now. Starseed, you are a starseed and you're figuring out and finding out even now, feminine, what lights you up. More than a twin flame, that just helped. That just lit the spark. The twin flame journey is lighting, is lighting the spark. But there's other things that totally light you up that's going to keep you burning, right? And what I mean by burning is keep you moving, keep you creatively uh, creatively creating, keep you um, driven, keep you focused, keep you ambitious. Because some of you are getting your ambition back, you're getting your drive back, you're getting your groove back. I remember I did a reading like that the other day, getting your groove back. Some of you are finding out what floats your boat. Some of you are being bold and, and knowing who you are. Some of you are shedding some old skin, I'm hearing. You're shedding some old skin like snake skin. Some of you might be afraid of snakes. Um, okay, but but you you were afraid of snakes, but presently you're like you're not. I ain't afraid of snakes. You you found out that I'm all I'm connected to it all. Is they're not they're not the monsters that I thought they were. They don't they don't make my flesh call anymore. Some of you are overcoming your fear of snakes and your fear of heights mm -hmm, because you're finding out what lights you up. Some of you are dating an electrician. Your twin is an electrician. <clears throat> Shocking. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. That is not a channel message. That was just me being silly, but um. What lights you up? Some of you are, are discovering that you actually do want children after all. I don't know what age you are. I'm seeing 53. I'm seeing that 48. I'm seeing 62. Okay, 62. Come through 62. But you are, you're actually saying, yes, you actually want children. You had put that to the side. You put that on a back burner, but you found out that it lights you up. Somebody in your family had a child, 20-something niece, I don't know, a niece, a uh, niece. Uh, a co-worker, you went to a baby shower, a co-worker's baby shower, and you, uh, one of the games did something to you, and it just made you cry. I don't know, I see a baby bottle. I don't know. You, you had to feed the baby, uh, feed the baby and change the baby. Some kind of game where you had to feed and change the baby real fast or on a time limit or something like that. But I see, like, these little babies and baby bottles and whatever, but you had to pretend like it was your baby or something. And whatever it did, it, it had a, a profound effect on you because you, you said to yourself in your heart, you know, Lighting, what lights me up is I want a baby. Some of you said, I want his baby. Meaning your twin, I want his baby. Some of you are in a relationship now with a soulmate and you're saying, I'm ready to have a baby. I want a baby. That's that's what lights me up. So some of, motherhood is, real, is really big and is reading for some reason now. But some of you are ready to be mothers. You are, you are, you are carriers. You are uh, women who birth. You are midwives. Some of you are going to help birth others' dreams. Some of you are mentors. Some of you are coming out of your shell, uh, speaking into the lives of other women. Some of you are motivational speakers. Some of you are entrepreneurs. I'm seeing Mary Kay. I don't know if I can say business names. I don't know etiquette here, but I'm not trying to uh, patron. I'm not patronized, but uh, advertise for anybody. But I'm saying I, I am seeing the people that get the pink cars. Well, the car is not necessarily pink anymore, but you know what I'm saying. I'm seeing that very strongly here. Some of you are beauticians, your hairstylists, uh, cosmetologists, nail techs. Um, I'm even seeing shampoo girls come up. Some of you are, I see a shampoo girl that actually has come up. That might be a movie though. That's come up with some kind of hair stuff, um, hair, hair cream, hair products. And you've been working on it for a while. Yes, is your answer. It's time. But um, yes, and your products are going to be, you. okay, that's what's happening. Your, your products are about to be introduced into the salon that you are shampooing at. Okay, kudos for you. But what lights you up 
Everybody's finding out divine feminines all over, especially during this quarantine, are finding out and figuring out what lights them up, what floats their boat. Coming up for us is um, Min Tonkin. It's um, longing for home or belonging. And this is light workers unite. This is a, I'm going to read this card. I just heard spirit say, read this card to you. Yeah. The original light workers. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for your patience, you guys. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to hold it up so you can look at it. It says, Mintakans are a soul group who originated on a planet in the constellation Orion. They were the first star beings to travel to Earth and believed to be the original light workers. The Mintakans' home planet is thought to have been a water world with water so pure that you could see through it for miles. For this reason, Mintakans feel most at peace and at home when in or around crystal clear water. Didn't we say somebody was standing by the water? Spirit, stop showing out though. They are here to teach us to see the potential in everything and the light in all beings. Many Metakans have an odd longing for home and struggle with feeling like they don't belong. It is thought that this is due to their home planet no longer being in existence. If you pull this card, it could mean that you are a Metakan or are longing for a sense of belonging and root chakra healing is necessary for you to feel secure and safe. Perhaps you feel this longing to find home without knowing uh, where it is. Perhaps you've been moving around a lot and yearn for a place on earth to call your own. We talked about relocation earlier. If so, you are being called to connect with Mother Earth and create it for yourself now. To choose where you feel most at home and create it rather than waiting for the feeling of belonging to come. I love this. It says, so choosing where you want to be home and creating it, whether waiting for, you know, the feeling to come, you're going to right where you are. So some of you are literally finding a, a new home. You're, you're relocating. You're making a new home. You're making some, somebody's like they, your decor is changing. Like you, you're leaving all your furniture behind and buying new furniture, but you are, you're changing. Your decor is changing because, because your tastes have changed because you have changed. Um, again, if, um, if you, this, this is for light workers and we are light workers. It's many of us that are watching Divine Feminines are light workers, but I'm also feeling from this card. On, give me one sec. I'm sorry. That's a lot of messages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A sense of belonging. I'm feeling from this card that some of you have been looking for your soul tribe. For some of y'all, it's here, right here with us. But um, others of you, you're, so, you're going to be finding your soul tribe this season. In this quarantine time, you're going to be finding your soul tribe where you belong. And they're, um, you want to be where everybody knows your name. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You want to be where everybody knows your name. So they're, they're going to, um, you're going to find a group of people your tribe is you're going to find your tribe your root chakra also that's that that's the um passion and the fire and the creativity i was talking about your root chakra is right, right at the very bottom that's where everything begins that's why it's called that's why it's called root right so your root chakra is being healed because you're now um you're embracing your power for some of you you felt like you had to minimize the light that you have or the or the or your shine because you didn't want other people around you to feel you know insecure or self-conscious and you were very insecure about how confident and bold you naturally have been i'm feeling a lot of leo energy um aries too this could be aries leo and aries very strongly here you are you are the magician right you are um you you are water water gives you power you find that fire you know, that looking at the sun, you know, you're, you're very in touch with the elements and how they affect you. Um, and, and, and you're very interested. Some of you are interested in the elements, the fire, earth, air, and water, and you just want to understand it better. If that's you, yes, this is your confirmation saying yes, yes. Remember the card? Yes. Go in that direction because spirit has a message and even some wisdom for you, some power in that. There's going to be some power in that. All right. But be, be bold and be very, very courageous. All right. And don't tell everybody what you're doing. Okay, that's another thing. Stop telling people what you're doing and just do it. Um, yeah, I'll leave, I'll leave it right there. Okay, so don't forget, um, bottom of your deck says take a break. So in this time, you're going to have to, after you read and study and meditate and everything you're doing, don't forget to take some time just to relax and rest your nerves. That's very important. What do I want to get? Do I want to get another card for you? Let me just get an angel oracle card, and then I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you got some messages out of here. Mm, that's two of them, divine order. Mm. Okay. 
I'm gonna try it again because I didn't, I didn't. Do you, Spirit, do you have any messages for my beautiful divine feminists? What would you say to them before they leave? Woohoohoo! Now y'all know I'm not gonna take all those cards. Did y'all see that? I mean, y'all got it. Oh my goodness. But what did come over? I'm helping you in your time of need. That's not right. Okay, let me let me reset, y'all. Sorry, that was. Did y'all see that? Now you know I'm not gonna. I can't do all those messages. All right, spirit. Let me knock some energy out of there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. That was that was better. Here it is. <laughs> There's that yes again. It's going with this card. Look at that. Brilliant idea. Yes. Your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring it to fruition. Look at that. The yes card and the yes. So some of you, you fire again, fire energy, chariot energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, right? You could be, or you don't have to be, but your I you have an idea. Go with it. It's time. You, um, some of you are gonna be um <laughs> I'm saying that little app. I'm not gonna say what app it is, but to do those little quick little videos. Um, but some of you are making videos. You, you, your social media presence is like uh, that's all you're doing is making videos now because you, you have time on your hands. Some of and, and some of you are writing, um, figuring out you're feel, figuring out a new way. You've turning your novel into a workbook is what I'm hearing. The novel is now a workbook, <laughs> you know, uh, or whatever. Okay. Um, but anyway, your idea is brilliant, so and it's divinely guided, so take action toward it. Now, that's what this is all about. Take this time off the grid. Take this time where where you, you're you being called to just stay off the street or whatever they're saying to your neighborhood. Take this time to, to produce, to manifest. You're fertile. Remember, divine feminists, you are fertile. Anything you look at long, it's going to inseminate you. If you th think about, you know what I'm saying? Anything you touch has the propensity or the um, ability to in infuse or impregnate you. Okay? So watch what you're touching. Um, um, and, and if you want to produce it, then touch. Ooh, shaman de corra. If you want to produce it, then touch it. Touch it. The, anything that touches you has to grow. Anything that touches you must produce. Anything that touches you must create. Anything that touches you must manifest, all right? Because you're fertile and, and your frequency is so high. You are, you are like a magnet in the spirit realm. You are, you are attracting everything that you've been believing for. You're at, it doesn't get any plan. Yes. Yes. You're being divinely guided. Mwah, divine feminist. Listen, if, you, if this resonated with you, give me a thumbs up. Even if it didn't, give me a thumbs up anyway. It keeps the frequency high, okay? But um, thank you for liking and subscribing. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay on this journey with us. It's all about healing, help, love, all that. It's, it's good. It's good stuff. The Soul Tribe is awesome. Um, until we meet again, <laughs> Divine Feminine, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye.